A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God. I am very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth, lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their sons' wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys, all came by two. All different kinds of animals, birds, and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. Then the door shut behind them. Inside the big boat, the lions roared, the dogs barked and the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained. It rained big, giant drops and little baby drops for 40 days and 40 nights. The rains came down and the flood waters came up. The water splashed on the sides of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Finally, it rested on the top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, Come out of the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all the animals came off the boat. They put their feet on dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land that God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow of brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. Today's Bible story is Noah's Ark. And I think most of us know a lot about this story. We remember that there's animals that go in two by two. We remember there's going to be a flood and God tells Noah there's going to be a flood. We remember that Noah is um, one of the only people who has followed God's instructions. And that's part of why the flood happens in the first place. And then usually we remember at the end the rainbow in the sky that is a reminder for God and people that God is not going to flood the earth like that again. Um, there's so many things that we're familiar with in this story. I think sometimes we miss the, the deeper understanding of this story. Part of what this story tells to me is that God cares for us, that God wants good things for us, and that God hopes that we will be a part of the process of making good things happen. Um, so that we will follow God's instructions and God's guidelines, that we will do what we can for our neighbor. And then we can be reminded by that rainbow that God loves us so much that God is going to take care of us and God is going to never let that happen again. I hope that rainbow sign is a reminder for you that God loves you and God loves me. Have a good day. Dear God, thank you for taking care of Noah and all the animals. Amen.